Crawford Broadcasting, God and Country Station. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Good morning and welcome to the Experience Pearls Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. It is. Uh, actually, I have a ton of stuff on my checklist of things that I wanted to make sure that our, our listeners know are coming up because the list is long and sometimes it's a little overwhelming. Um, but if you go to our meetup site, meetup.com slash experience pros, we're hosting a networking with technology before work event at the Microsoft store inside a Park Meadows mall in conjunction with our friends over at C squared computer consulting. You're going to get uh, some free um, some bagels and coffee and business tips on how to use some of the latest technology to make sure your business is growing. So you can sign up for that. That over at meetup.com slash experience pros. When is it taking place? Tuesday, November 4th. All right. Okay. Tuesday, November 4th. So you got a little time. Yep. It's not like tomorrow. Good. Not We didn't miss it today. All right. We're going to miss it today. Phew. You know what you might miss, though, if you don't head over there pretty quickly, is a McDonald Volvo is running a special this week. They well, say the, that I've got a nice rack. They, they do say that. I haven't seen it for sure, well, to know for sure. Right. But over at McDonald Volvo um, on Broadway, the uh, manager is out of town. So they're running a little experience pros, hush, hush, wink, wink, ask for Eric's rack. When you buy a Volvo over at McDonald Volvo and you mention experience pros, you do get a free bike rack or ski rack for your car. They've got some incredible deals going on. You can look online at McDonaldVolvo.com. You get also an extra $500 this week for uh, just mentioning experience pros, but it's only good. I think the boss comes till, back on Saturday. Saturday right. right. Yeah. So McDonald Volvo, McDonald Volvo.com. I love that. Yeah. File this under the category of nope, nope, nope. I know. No, we say yes, uh, yes, and absolutely. Yeah, when we're talking business, but when we're talking uh, arachnids. Why you got to do that? Because it's in the mail. It, okay, so so what? So what? It, there's it, uh, there's other things in the news. You ever notice a mysterious mark on your torso? I did, I, what, stop. Did you ever notice stop. that? Stop. We're not talking. No. A mysterious mark on your torso could be a tropical spider tunneling under your skin. Ew. Ew. You know, you see all these little um, news reports of somebody had a had a leech in their ear or a. I don't know, a caterpillar in their nose or something. And so if you see, and I, I you know, Eric's bringing up the Ugh. picture, it's a trail. Um, yeah, it's a trail. Yeah, that's been going on a while. Yeah. Um, you know what? Here's the thing we don't pay nearly enough attention to or people our body. get naked more often and well, look at stuff like that. We oh. don't. You know, we have symptoms, we have aches, we have pains, we have little bumps, we have marks. Um, we tend to ignore them until they are almost debilitating. Could be wrong, but it looks like it got in through the belly button. It does look like it started in the belly button, but you can't get in through your belly button. It's not an opening. It could be. It's not. It used to be. It's not. Uh, I don't know how how they find that a, a tropical spider was burrowed in, but pay attention. Right. Just pay attention to your to your symptoms. Did you hear about I the mean, lady with thirty thousand brown brown recluses? You know what? I saw it. I didn't. I don't in really. Colorado Springs. I don't really follow and click on and look at stuff that has to do with spiders and snakes. I don't either. And swarming. You do. Yeah. You do actually. Um, but I am thinking, you know, we might have to be quarantined or something here pretty soon. Did you put your antibacterial on your hands? You know, are what? you freaked out over I, any of this? I'm, I'm, I'm Some not, people are. Some people aren't. I'm not freaked out over the Ebola thing, though. I am, like everybody in in the country, I am concerned uh, by the laissez-faire attitude that uh, many of us are taking around it and about it. I, I, I you know, yeah. and there's there's more there's more fallout to come. It just, I don't know. 
That's it. Yeah, you well, don't know. you don't know. I'm not an expert on this topic, so I don't no. really know. Well, you're not an expert on any of the topics that you bring, Let's but you talk bring about them. Ghosts. Are you an expert? I am. Are you afraid of ghosts? Have you seen a ghost? Are you a ghost watcher? I'm not a ghost do, watcher. Do you, I, do you live in a haunted house? Look at me. I'm like full of questions. I don't live in a haunted house. You wish you did? Would you buy one? No, if you knew, because no. there are there is a market for that. There is a market for that, and, and there's lots of television shows, and because you saw it on the internet, and no. Anyways, some uh, some ghost hunters uh, irritated some people. It's in the news. Ghost hunters irritated dead people, ghost no, people, some people, live people, some people, live some people. people, the people who could be irritated. Dead people aren't irritated. I think that's why they haunt stuff is because they are incredibly agitated, irritated, and frustrated. You and, believe in such definitions and, of ghosts? And I, but I, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I've ever had an encounter. But okay. that is the, isn't that the premise? Like they've the got premise. something that's that's unfinished business. Do you believe in ghosts, listeners? Do you? I'd like to know. Do you? You have to answer the question first. You can't. I have to answer the you question. You do have to answer first. the I question. I can pose a question without answering a question. All right, that's true. This is you can pose a question without answering the question. However, I am asking you a question. We'll be back with more positive business talk. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Nylon's Collision Center is an award winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Attention business owners. If you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit rivierafinance.com. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff-it-up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business, and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. Dana Lash, after Grassroots Radio Colorado on KLZ 560. 
Dennis Miller here. Be sure to tune in for the Dennis Miller Show, where we talk politics, entertainment, and everything in between. Our guests are the best you'll hear on radio. It's radio you can trust right here on the Dennis Miller Show. Tonight at 10 p.m., it's the Dennis Miller Show, right here on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the experienced pros radio show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. Whether you sell kumquats or seashells by the seashore, you need to avoid the pity sale. The pity sale? Yeah. Like anything with a pit in it, right? Come no. On. No. These don't, kumquats don't, don't have pits me, in them. Don't make me get all anatomical on uh, the kumquat. All right. Well, we're going to make sure that you stop asking for the pity sale. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't sound like something I want to participate in. We brought in the expert, Pam Atherton, award-winning media mogul. She joins us monthly here with some great marketing tips to help you grow your business. Pam Darling, welcome. Hello, glad to be with you guys again. And that was a good thought. Maybe it is anything with a pit. Don't even go near it. <laughs> right? <laughs> not a pit. Okay, so right. so we're not asking for a pity sale. What is a pity sale? The pity sale is what we're starting to see now on Facebook and in radio public service announcements and emails coming at you from your chamber of commerce and they all say buy local. Mm. You're like, okay, it's admirable. It's a great idea to buy local. I like buying but local. The Exactly. But is the local business doing their part or are they just asking for your business because, because, because they're local? Right. Okay. okay. All right. So what, I mean, of course they want our business, right? Well, that's what one would think. But a lot of times we keep doing business the way we've always done business. And we forget that the world of business has changed. Technology has changed everything about business. We now know who your competitor is, where your competitor is. We can go online and get it faster. So are you realizing our needs and reaching out and trying to solve them? Or are you just doing business the way you want to do business? It's no longer a seller's market. It's a buyer's market. You're absolutely right there, Pamela. And I think that, uh, you know, they make a great case that if you buy local, it stays local, the money stays local, and all of a sudden we're helping the community and, and, and ad nauseum. And it's all true, but there's, there's the other side of it, and that is you have to earn the sale. Exactly. And, and what happens is we get so caught up in this concept of buy local that we don't always look to make sure we're doing our part. Because mm. the bottom line is, when it comes to dollars, I don't care if your money is local or not local if I can't pay my rent. Good point. Right? Good point. Yeah. And it so, isn't, you, we don't just get to ride the high horse and say, well, you need to buy from me because I'm local and that guy's not. Like, that's not a justification for winning over the customer. Right. But that's what you're seeing from yeah. people when you see those graphics, when you get those emails that say, buy local, save our local businesses. And we're saying, okay, what are you doing for me? Because now I know how things are. I'll give you an example. I, there, I had to go to a pharmacy the other day. It was a compounding pharmacy and it was a local one. I wanted to help them out. They told me, first of all, it would take four days for me to get my prescription. And I said, okay, will you call me? Here's my number. And they never called me. Mm. So you know what? I'm going to go to a pharmacy 20 miles away who was in the same town as my physical therapist who is friendly and helpful and all those other things. And that company's lost my business. Yeah. yeah you know, you make a great case. Uh, Pam, give some identifiers for us of those people that we can, you know, readily identify as being earning that sale. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the company that you're talking to is actually listening to you. Do and, and the best way to do that as a business owner is, are you asking your customers what they want and how they want it? We forget that. We think, we'll just give you what we want to give you. We got a good deal on this. We'll put it on sale. You'll buy it, whatever. But that's not the way to do business anymore. We need to be partners. I need to know from you, what do you want and how can I do it? Are you offering the kinds of products that they want? And again, you'll only know that by asking. So my suggestion is you call up five to 10 of your best customers and you ask, you say, look, how do you, you know, what do you like about doing business with us? And as a customer, what would you like done differently that would make your life easier? 
And then that's what you start working at trying to do. Look, I don't mind paying a little bit more for a product, but I don't, I don't want to pay a lot more. And I get so, it. Yeah, that's an issue. One of the ones that I always talk about is the printing. We, I go to an online print place to do business cards. People say, why don't you buy local? Say, because it's like five times the cost to buy local. But I might buy local if they had a graphic artist there who came to my business and said to me, look, let's talk about your brand. We can use these colors. That's what this means. And if you do that, that's what this means. Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting the value of why it, it should cost me a little more to pay for my business card. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I find some of the challenges are, Pam, I remember having a, an a car issue out kind of in the, in the boondocks kind of, and I tried to find a, a local auto mechanic because I needed an emergency service. Their hours just, there was nobody yeah. open. I ended up going to a, you know, one of the, the chains because one, they had the hours and two, they were staffed as a local business. We tend to be understaffed and, and lacking in that customer service. Do you find that? Well, yes, and I think you're absolutely right on the hours. We want to do the hours when we want to. I know a boutique here in town who is only open Tuesday through Saturday and is open from 10 to 5. Well, so many of us now work weird shifts or we work from home and we can't make those hours. So what do you do to offer us something different? And sometimes that means staggering hours so you can stay open longer or delivering to you. So, for example, my car guy here who I adored – if I needed an oil and lube job, he would come and get my car, take it, and bring it back so I never had to do anything. Mm. And that's the kind of stuff we have to ask. What is it that you want? And we have to be willing to change because if we don't, our customers are going to go somewhere else. And a perfect example of this is the financial industry, banks. Banks used to be open 10 to 3, right? You went when their lobby was open. Then they started drive throughs then they started opening on Saturdays, and now pretty much any financial institution worth their salt has mobile and online banking so that I never have to step in a facility again. That's meeting the needs of what the customers want. Yep, yep, yep. You're yep. absolutely right. I, I like it. We still have to we still have to deliver that service. We still have to earn it. I had somebody send me a flyer this week for their business, Pam, and their hours are Monday through Friday from 10 to 3. And I thought, well, that's <laughs> nice for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we have to be available, right? Well, and that's absolutely what you just said. It's no longer the buyer, the seller's market. It's the buyer's market. What is it your customers want? Bring the solutions for your customers. That, or you're not going to be in business. Pam, you can't beg and shame for me to buy local. Well, it's it's so true. Pam, you always yeah. bring the great uh, great articles, and we're so thankful that uh, that, that you uh, joined us in this conversation. If our listeners want to follow up with you, where can they uh, connect with you? Well, they can easily email me, and you can do that by just emailing Pam at pamathogen.com. I'll leave some information on your page on Facebook, and I have a Facebook page as well, Or uh, and I'll leave a phone number too. So I'll just put the information on the Experience Pros uh, Facebook page, and we'll take it from there. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. And, it, and a great topic too, Pam, because we're not talking about that, The how we are shaming that customer to buy local and yet we're we're not providing the service that that our competition is providing and and so i, I love that you brought that to the table say no to pity yeah, yep, yeah it only works so long and and then pretty soon the customers move away yep say no to pity brought to us by the always pithy pam atherton <laughs> my favorite kumquat thank you pam thank you so much. Okay. all right folks don't go anywhere when we come back more positive business talk coming up next on the experience pros radio network the Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. 
Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000204 NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co US. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. Get auto theft off your street. Stopping it takes the whole community. Call 911 or a non-emergency line to report suspicious activity. Learn more at LockdownYourCar.org. Brought to you by Coloradans Against Auto Theft, the Colorado Broadcasters Association, and this station. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. It's time for business tips and insights, and that means that Tony Rayburn from Extreme Relationship Management is on the line. He is on the line, and each week he shares a fun law of networking. Tony, I can't believe there are so many that you get to share with us. Welcome to the show. Well, hello, team. How are you guys doing today? Very good. Very good. What are we talking about? Today we're going to talk about networking law number 106. 106. 106, and this is a firm handshake. Thank you. So this thing about confidence is it's the one attribute that can make or break someone's first impression of you. Mm -hmm. Now, whether or not that impression is right or wrong doesn't matter. It's just the impression somebody has of you. And that, that firm handshake is a key indicator regarding the confidence of a person. All right. Really? So these lamp, these lamp handshakes that somebody, some people have, that does not portray confidence at all. Now we don't have to go super grip and play Superman or Wonder Woman. And yeah, is, is a really super hard grip mean I have just tons and tons of confidence? No, actually, that probably means that you're either uh, arrogant or trying to trying to play the part on TV because you're not really inside. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we just want a nice, a, a generally a generally firm handshake. And the thing is, that handshake occurs within the first few seconds of meeting somebody. Mm-hmm. Now, if we were to break down this first few seconds of, of leading up to a handshake, there are about nine events that happen. We don't need to memorize these, but just if you play through in your mind with me a little bit, in slow motion, it follows this pattern. You have an awareness of somebody, the availability to talk, 
you make eye contact, you're willing to engage, you smile, you evaluate their appearance, you try to recall their name from memory, or maybe glance at a name tag, you do a greeting, and then you do a handshake. Uh, now, all, all nine of those things happen in about three seconds or less. I'm so amazed that you could break down something that happens in three seconds and to say, these are the steps that happens. You are so scientific. <laughs> but if you think about it, though, since it's the last event that occurs in the beginning of an introduction that leads to a conversation, it's going to set the stage for whether you are dominant, a peer, or a subordinate in this conversation. Really? Yes. That's a lot of pressure. It is. So just make sure you practice and have a nice, firm handshake. It doesn't have to be too tight. But don't make it limp, and that yeah. goes for both men and women. Yeah, don't be the bone say, crusher. You know, and I think as women, we think that. I mean, wasn't there a time where etiquette kind of dictated, Tony, that that we just kind of put our hand out, and you Stop were that. like Stop gonna, that. you like shook it or something? Was that like a yes. form of etiquette? But it's yeah, gone, kind right? Of palm, kind of the palm was down, and the the gentleman would take the hand and kiss it, maybe something like that, right? Well, the thing is, those are events that we don't do anymore. Good. Right? So these are, these are networking events we're talking about where we're at and we're meeting people and we're talking about business. So it's a total different stage. We're not there meeting the queen. We're there <laughs> to do business. <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you. Because I still, I think you do. Every now and then you do. You meet, you meet somebody and, and typically a, a woman who, who does kind of extend this little curtsy hand thing and it's like dead fish yeah that is just weird especially when it's to another woman i think it's weird when i receive somebody who does that or to you me. go the other way around i got a friend who uh love her to death but uh, I, every time i see her instead of a handshake she literally hauls off and slugs me in the shoulder i get a bruise every <laughs> single time uh, you know there's got to be well, another they, rule I for think that there must be there must be some history there no Tony, uh, how do we find out more information from you? People can find out more about Extreme Relationship Management at extremerelationshipmanagement.com, or they can call us nationwide toll-free at 855-I-LIKE-ERM. 855-I-LIKE-ERM, a proven success model for using networking to grow your business. A lot of folks do it, but we struggle with it. And if you find yourself struggling with it, make sure you go through the training that ERM provides to all of their members, extremerelationshipmanagement.com, the phone number, I like ERM. Tony, I'm going to be really self-conscious next time I meet you and I shake your hand now. Just slug it. <laughs> You do a fine job already, Angel. You're a pro. Would you tell me if I didn't? I would. Absolutely, I will. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you. Thanks, Thank Tony. You, you uh, bet, Have a great day. I'm going to write Law 106 and a half. It's about slugging people at networking events. I, I think you just have history. I think there must be something that goes back in no, the relationship she hits. with the two of you. Does no. she hit everybody yes. or just you? No, I don't know. You don't know? She hits. We're going to have to pay attention because it might just be a love test. Uh, let's talk to Chris Kaiser, C-Square Computer Consulting. Hey, Chris. You always hurt the ones you love. Oh, jeez. You are witty. Yeah, or something. <laughs> or something. It rhymes with witty. And, and, and fr <laughs> Oh, well played. Well played. And, and your friends will tell you if you have something stuck between your teeth. That's true. And I do. Yeah, yeah she I does do, every I do. time. <laughs> your, your, your best friends will just turn in. They'll, they'll wait two hours and they'll laugh and they'll yeah. say at the end of the yeah, night. Yeah, but oh, by, yeah by the way, your fly's been open and you had spinach <laughs> in your teeth all night. But I'm your friend, so I'm telling you. Yeah. Chris, what are we talking about today, bud? So, uh, so if you, have you ever gone through the closet and found a bunch of old stuff there that you don't know what to do with? I went into the closet one time. had to come out um, and uh, – I. I'm not so if you go in and you see beige boxes <laughs> with buttons, you know, all computers and things like that. One of the things I kinda wanted to spread the word about is Goodwill Industries of Denver has done an amazing job of setting up an electronic recycling program. Um all I mean, the right way. They've done all the homework, the bookwork, you know, getting uh E two certified and um, all of the echo, green, friendly, natural, you know, every part of what you donate to them for their technology piece, uh, their downstream does everything right to recycle and reuse. It doesn't end up in a landfill somewhere. It doesn't get shipped away somewhere. What about the hard drive? The hard drives are wiped. Uh, it, I went down and I toured the facility. Very impressive. Um, 
even one of the directors uh, that I, I met with and Big Shot did not have access to that part uh, where they do the data wipes. Um, they do a, a great job of um, you know completely wiping the drives if it's reusable. They will completely reformat it. Um, you know they work with Microsoft to get you know licensing on the computers for you know the operating systems and. If the drives aren't, you know, functional, they'll they'll destroy them and you know do it uh, the right way. It's just it's very impressive. I'm I'm, I'm very impressed, and and it's easy. Um, uh, you know, and, and anything that is usable is usable. Uh, if if something is a decent uh, computer, they will completely uh, wipe the data. They will completely rebuild it, and they'll sell those in their stores. You know, a, a refurbished used computer um, at very reasonably priced. So, and it provides, you know, jobs and resources, you know, for, for people in need. And I, I've, uh, we did a, a recycling event uh, last weekend. I got to meet uh, several people that, that benefit on, on both sides of it. And it's just, it's an amazing program and it's a great resource. And I wanted to share that with everybody that Goodwill Industries can help when it comes to recycled uh, electronic uh, equipment. I imagine, Chris, people probably, um, when you come in and, and work with them in their businesses, they probably have old equipment and they want to, here, Chris, take this. You can use yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> All right, so can we take it to any Goodwill, just drop off our old electronics, or do we have to go to a particular location? Uh, most of the Goodwill donation centers will take uh, the equipment. Uh, it all gets um, uh, bundled and, and shipped to the, the main warehouse. Um, if you have specific needs as far as uh, uh, certificates of destruction or chain of custody for data on those, um, you can call. You can call us. You can send us a message. We can kind of help coordinate that. But um, typically, most things, um, any of the goodwill donation locations will take those. You know, the printers, the computers, things like that. The only thing I will say is no TVs. Uh, televisions have just a completely different thing, and it it. it Goodwill will, you know, it, it costs them more to, at this point in time, you know, it, it, like our drive, we kind of said, don't bring TVs because that costs more for them to, to, to process, to process yeah. you know, but, you know, CRT monitors, we had, you know, plenty of those uh, big honking, you know, printers and, and uh, you know, like I said, beige computers. Um, you, you had me with the, the beige thing with buttons in the, in the, I thought it was like an outfit or something, but uh, <laughs> I, I understand what you mean now. It's been a while since we've Good seen the, the beige box with, with buttons. It has, been a, it has been a while. Now, Chris, you have an event coming up at the Microsoft Store inside Park Meadows Mall. Do you want to talk about that? We do. Um, we're pretty excited, you know, just partnering with the Microsoft Store at Park Meadows. Uh, we're going to just talk a little bit about uh, Office 365 and, you know, the Surface Pros and mobile computing. Uh, we'll kind of have some, some hands-on and demonstrations, and uh, it will be on the uh, 4th of November in the morning, uh, 8 to 10 a.m. Um, pretty, pretty cool little thing. My chef store is doing some, some pretty neat things there, and I'd suggest, you know, uh, taking a look at what they, what they have over there. I love it. It is Tuesday, November 4th at Inside Park Meadows Mall from 8 to 10 a.m. at the Microsoft yeah. Store. If they have any questions, can they call you, Chris? Absolutely. Call, post something on our Facebook page. Uh, give us a call, 303-933-1113. Um, check out our uh, Facebook page, t2cc.net, and um, we're a resource. Yeah, Sounds you great. are. You're a yeah. fun resource. Fairly fun to work with. C squared computer consulting, c2cc.net. And of course, on the second of every month, they remind us to back up our data. Join us on November 4th for the Microsoft event. And if you have any questions about recycling, give Chris a call at 303 933 1113. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. All right, folks. We will be back right after these messages. And when we come back, more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. When you're diagnosed with a brain condition, it takes more than just a doctor to help you live the best life possible. Choose Colorado Neurological Institute's NeuroHealth Center for all your neuro rehabilitation needs. The NeuroHealth Center is an outpatient neuro rehabilitation clinic in Englewood, offering counseling, care navigation, speech, occupational and physical therapy services, and all services are delivered in one location. Call today, 303-333-1113. 
303-788-4010. That's 303-788-4010. Or visit online at thecni.org. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. You've got a great business, lots of customers, and a catchy tagline. Things are going great, right? Has it ever occurred to you that if you were doing so well in your business, someone else might be trying to copy or steal your concept and make it their own? It happens every day. But don't let it happen to you. You need attorney Steve Replin on your side. Much more than just a lawyer, Steve is a business consultant who knows how to protect what's yours while helping you grow it to success. Call Steve today and CYA. That's cover your assets. 303 322 7919 Your largest asset is your home, and when your home needs help, Hokoa Denver is your best friend. The Homeowners Club of America provides AAA service, promptly matching your service requests with approved contractors, and then following up to guarantee the job was done right. Utilities, appliances, remodeling, painting, from bricks to fencing, floors to patios, Hokoa has you covered. Become a member for the equivalent of only $4 a month. $4. Hokoa, serving homeowners with care. Sign up today, 303-906-2643. That's 303-906-2643. You can forget about having insomnia now that Somnia, the new sleep store opening in Park Meadows Mall, is coming. Somnia. Picture yourself finally getting a good night's sleep. Sheets, humidifiers, aromatherapy, and sleep experts to help you with your sleep apnea and snoring. The grand opening is November 1st, but Experience Pro's listeners are invited to the soft opening on October 30th at 10 a.m. Somnia. Sleep better every night in your new sleep sanctuary. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. The Dana Show. Tonight at 7 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. I wake up every morning, stumble out of bed. Just gonna let that play for a while. I oh, yes. know. Oh, that takes us way back. Seriously. Well, Charlie, you're going digging deep into the archives. She, she, she needs to. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. Nine to five. Uh, we appreciate uh, the. Or no, no. I wake up. Uh, what, what's it called, Charlie? Morning the train. The morning train. That's yeah. the one. You need to sing this in uh, the in the part in the playground. Dolly Parton came around right after that and sang nine to five. Um, You're confusing. She meant Easton. No, not confusing. But no, just the names of the songs. That's all. Okay. Baby takes the morning train. Okay. Who works from nine to five anymore, anyways? You know, I, I love how how Pam Atherton was talking about. You know, we we've got all these promotions and marketing that talks about buying local, and all the SEO is now really emphasizing. You know, the localness of search engine optimization and optimizing your websites for buying local yep. and yet we we are shaming people into saying you know how should how shame on you for not buying local and yet as the local companies we are kind of riding the coattails of the local and falling short on actually providing the uh, service the service yeah. and the hours you and know, we start a new campaign earn local well, you know, earn your local business. I I think that we we want to buy local. I think that sure as community do. supporters, we we are. I think that we do think about local, but 
what ends up happening is we kind of get turned off by the service or the availability that ends up happening. And we need to be very available to our customers. And one of the ways that we can do that is with Perfect Cloud Solutions. Oh, boy. They're great. They do voice over IP and phone services. Phone service. Oh, yeah. Right. And so think about this. You, we are not always in one static location as business owners. We're on the go. And yet we want to be accessible to our clients with their voice over IP service. You've got your phones, but they can forward to your cell phone. They can even host the entire PBX. That's the big phone box that if you have a, a multi-phone system for your office, that's the one with all the wires in it. They can do all of that on the cloud now. You can find them at perfectcloudsolutions.com. Give them a call at 855-771-VOIP. That's right, 855-771-8647. You know, uh, I'm a big fan of that uh, buy local, stay local, and, and all of that. I really am. I am but too. I'm, I am I'm too. I'm with Pam 100% when she says you got to earn it and uh, and earn that business. It's a two-way street. It's not just a handout, right? Now, here's uh, an interesting thing. How do you get reviews? You're a local business. You want to get reviews. You've got that thing called Yelp out there. And, uh, you you know, we, we came across an article thanks to uh, our friend Chris Arno, who um, this is probably the, the wrong way. Oh, the wrong way getting to get to get positive reviews now now the nice thing um about everybody's looking at reviews now i mean if if you purchase something and you didn't do any research any online research just to see what are other people saying about them then you feel really silly when something bad happens and then you look online and go oh my gosh there was the history i should have known better but coulda shoulda woulda so uh true story happened recently Once upon a time, there was a little hotel in upstate New York. It was a pretty nice place. No, it wasn't part of a chain. In fact, it called itself a boutique. And like other businesses, the hotel wanted good online reviews. So it it was determined by management to get them in any way possible. All right. So I think of, you know, to to build up your online positive Mm -hmm. reviews, then you... I don't know. You would, you would ask all them. your friends, yeah. please, could yeah. you sign yeah. sign up and give uh, good reviews, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. No, instead, they went the opposite direction and discouraged or tried to discourage bad reviews. This is how their policy was written. They actually had a policy in their customer agreement yes, ma'am. against negative reviews. If you have booked this in for a wedding or other type of event or uh, – anywhere in the region and given us a deposit of any kind for guests to stay at our hotel, there will be a $500 fine that will be deducted from your deposit for every negative review of our hotel placed on an internet site, any internet site, by anyone in your party and or attending your wedding or event. If you stay here to attend a wedding or anywhere in the area and leave us a negative review on any internet site, you agree to a $500 fine for each negative review. Can they... Can you do that? Well, it's a written policy. So if you decide to sign up for the hotel, you've signed there and say, uh, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, okay, so let's just play this out. I'm thinking, you know, if if I go to a hotel and I'm going to be booking, um, you know, I'm, I'm just a guest at the hotel even. Right. I'm going to be um, booking my, my reservation. And they say, okay, here's your reservations, two nights, three nights, whatever it is, and it's X number of dollars. But if you post a negative review, you know, we're keeping that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I don't want to stay there. Right. Well, because obviously if you have to have a $500, like, Ouch. Right. Every time. Every time somebody says a negative, something negative about you, I am thinking you're hiding. You've got something to negatively review about. Oh, and congratulations on your wedding. Uh, this was supposed to, to work for them. That was their uh, their, their deal. Um, however, it really kind of backfired on them. In, a, in fact, uh, well. Everybody started leaving negative reviews yeah. just because, because of their policy. Yeah. Oh, I love 
putting myself into situations that may cause me physical and financial discomfort. So right. staying here has provided that. In fact, I'm even leaving my review negative so they will charge me an extra $500 in retaliation. Reading their policies was good reading as a well. massive disaster wow. on search engines and the review sites. And people have just come out. People who have never stayed there are, <laughs> are, just... are now just bombing these folks. And uh, you know, you just don't. You don't. Okay, so let's turn it around. Here's the experience pro spin. You want a positive review? Earn it. Yeah, I think that's kind of the theme for today. You know, that the experience in customer experience was, or experience pros was meant for that customer experience, creating a memorable customer experience. And it's one of those things that is so easy to dismiss. And we, I think, good intentions here on, on the hotel. I mean, if you were an owner and you're like, okay, you know, we're just going to tell people if they leave a negative review, it's going to cost them 500 bucks and that'll, that should squelch that. Uh -oh. I mean, you can see where where they're wanting to come from. Um, we do have to earn those positive reviews. And here's the thing. People aren't willing to leave a review for mediocre or just run-of-the-mill anything. No, Even uh, if it was kind of if it was just kind of bad and it was kind of good. They're not they're going to go online because they're passionate about it was super positive or super negative. Right. It's it's the extreme, one extreme to the other. We're not just going, yeah, that that worked out and it, it should probably work out for you too. No, the reviews are usually pretty pretty emotional. Yes. Um, and they will go either way. And if you have a track record of attracting something negative, rather than put a band-aid on it, fix it. Let's get down to the root of the problem. All right, there you have it. Hey, when we come back, we're going to talk to Lisa Mannion. We love her, and she loves being on the show for you. And uh, so don't go anywhere. Mentoring coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Make sure your marketing strategy includes search engine optimization and contact Colorado SEO at coloradoseo.com. You'll find a team of experts who have been connecting consumers online since 1996. You've created a commodity, now get found. coloradoseo.com, coloradoseo.com or call 303-990-5934. Remember, billions are searching. Will they find you? You have a business and your business needs a phone system other than your cell phone. Now you have a solution. Perfect Cloud Solutions is the perfect answer to your phone system needs. Specializing in affordable voice over internet protocol phone systems, Perfect Cloud Solutions has exactly what you need. And best of all, it fits within your budget. Call today and stop sharing that one line handheld unit in the office. 855-771-VOIP. That's 855-771-8647. Or check them out for yourself at perfectcloudsolutions.com. Perfect Cloud has your perfect phone solution. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business, and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Everyone wins when you partner with Mary Beth Stencil and her Paid to Save network. Put your daily deals on the Paid to Save app for free and start making money every time someone clicks on your offer. You only pay when someone pays you. What a great idea. And you can start making money today. No one will know of your offer until you list it. So get going right now. Visit PaidToSave.com. That's Paid, the number two save.com or call Mary Beth right now at 303-268-5506. That's 303-268-5506. Get paid to save and start making money today. 
You need more customers and you need to keep the ones you already have. List that Save My Business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List that Save My Business is the book with easy to use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business from Amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business today and grow your business the experience pros way. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, 5 to 8 tomorrow morning on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. You know, we've always been a big supporter of mentoring but our guest is going to raise a question for us. Ooh, a question about mentoring. Well, yep. we look forward to our talks with Lisa Mannion. She tunes in and, and participates with the Experience Pros radio show monthly. You can also follow her blog right on her website at Right on creative.com and that's W-R-I-T-E, right on creative.com. Lisa, welcome to the Experience Pros radio show. Thanks so much, Angel and Eric. As usual, it's a blast to be here. <laughs> uh, we love having you on, uh, Lisa. Now, listen, um, you're, the, you wrote a, a recent article, and this becomes the, the topic of our conversation, something that we almost never hear being talked about. And the, the, the summary or the, the title of it is, Have You Outgrown Your Mentor? Where are you going yeah. with that? It's, it's a really interesting and touchy topic, and you know a lot of people don't want to talk about it because actually oh, outgrowing a mentor isn't necessarily a bad thing, but what it does mean is I think it's really important for us to always invest in learning. Knowledge is power, right? Sure. But sometimes a, a multitude of things can happen. You could just need a different type of information, and the mentor you're currently playing with has delivered everything they can on the topic to move you further in your business, right? Do you have to tell them that? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if you have to tell them that. The bucket's I think it's empty. a feeling that you'll have, and they may actually, a really good mentor will know that, right? Okay. And they'll realize, Lisa, you've invested in my services for so long, and this is fantastic, but I see something else for you. So it could be also that, especially a really good mentor, will see that. And they won't just try and re-up you in their program or whatever it might be. They will celebrate your success and understand that it's time for some change in movement. So it doesn't have to be as touchy as a topic as it seems. It's progression that just a lot of people aren't talking about you know and, and we're using the word mentor but this could apply to business coaches or life coaches or or uh folks like that as well right lisa people you're it dating really can. and here's what i want to say about that i actually sent this information out to my community recently and my community is very responsive so i got some email messages back saying hey i've never been able to afford a mentor and you know what that touches my heartstrings because i want everyone to have access to information and, and just knowledge that will help them grow. And the truth is, we have mentors everywhere, even free mentors, in the form of libraries, in the form of small business development centers. There are resources available to us if we take action, and it doesn't have to break the bank. Is there a natural progression, Lisa? I mean, when we, when we find a mentor, uh, we clearly identify somebody as the, the forgive the, the language, but the master uh, and, and, and the apprentice. Does the role morph? Uh, do, you, do you ever see that they tend to become like peers? It does morph. I mean, I've experienced that with some of my mentors. One of my top mentors who I love and adore to this day is Allie Brown, and we co-created the 24-7 Web Sales Secrets course together. And so we created a peer-to-peer -peer relationship. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to mentor with her again. If I want to launch something new, chances are I'll invest in a day with her so she can map it out because she's brilliant, right? Yeah. But right now, 
I'm not currently mentoring directly with her. Do I follow what she's doing and stay in contact? Absolutely. But it doesn't mean that anything happened that wasn't supposed to happen. It just means that things have changed. And for now, I'm focusing on some different areas in my business and life. Well, and let's hope that you aren't still in the same place you were when you started with that mentorship, right? You've grown, you've developed, you've learned from, and and now can emulate and use those, use use her as a resource. I love the the peer-to-peer collaboration. Lisa, does it, very often do you find, does it ever, do you switch roles where now you are their mentor or they've hired you to coach them? Yeah, sometimes that does happen. And what's really interesting, I'm finding that a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs are coming to me because they've actually reached this point where they're feeling as if they've kind of outgrown their mentor. Now, it doesn't mean that their mentors aren't fabulous people. It just means that they're looking for something more. And they're also realizing that their, their mentors are coming to them because their area of expertise is different than their mentor's area of expertise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's just a human condition. We, we all bring different uh, gifts and skills to the table. And, uh, and, and so I, I love how that works. You know, um, we always love your collaborative approach and how you suggest that we take a collaborative approach to achieving the big vision for the next year, which, by the way, we're on the verge of, right, Lisa? We are. It's right around the corner, and it's really important to start mapping out the goals that you want to achieve and who you need to have in place to help you achieve those goals. I'm actually really excited. I'm heading out after we get off the show today to Medford, Oregon to teach marketing messages that matter, make a difference and make money to the sm- for the Small Business Development Center at Southern Oregon University. I love Medford, Oregon. I've spoken at every school in Medford, Oregon, and I just wish them all the best. Absolutely. Yay. Absolutely. Lisa Love, and you are. You're all around the country sharing your fantastic knowledge. And I know that our, our listeners can connect with you no matter where they live in the world, thanks to the fabulousness of the internet. But I do think it is time to reevaluate or to evaluate. You know, we're putting 2015, um, you know, plan of action in place right now. We're putting all the pieces in, in your mentor, people you've been mentoring with. It is probably a good time to review some of those strategic alliances that you've worked with in the, you know, in this last year and make sure that you've got a plan, um, a success plan going forward. What is the best way, Lisa, for our listeners to connect with you? The best way for them to connect with me is to visit my website at writeoncreative.com. There's all kinds of free resources on the blog portion, which is at writeoncreative.com forward slash blog. And you can get a free copywriting action plan to help you improve all your marketing messages and start thinking about planning as well. I love it. I love it. You can read the entire blog uh, that Lisa shared today about outgrowing your mentor at writeoncreative.com. She has wonderful tips for us monthly. Um, And do you do workshops too, Lisa? I do, and I'm doing more and more workshops. So I'm really excited about that. And actually, as we're looking at the new plans for the new year, that's going to be, be a big piece of the new business model. Nice. Excellent, excellent. Well, we look forward to promoting those and marketing with you and collaborating with you in the new year, Lisa. Good luck on your uh, with your travels. Thank you so much, and I look forward to coming to see you sometime soon. Oh, don't tease us now. <laughs> don't, don't tease, you, you uh, country girl. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. We'll see you. Thank you. Have a great day. You betcha. That's right on creative, W R I T E on creative.com. Uh, what a great show. I mean, the, the first hour is already gone. Can you believe it? Well, you know, it covered a lot of ground. We it covered did. a lot of ground, got yes. a lot of stuff in, a lot of stuff I like. Um, a, a, all week long, it seems like, and for the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about mentors and just having those coaches and those people that you esteem to stretch you, to help you rise to your potential. Absolutely. You know, I think that we can't do it. We weren't designed to do it. Even coaches have coaches. And there's a the good ones do. There's a great benefit in in just learning from somebody else who is just has a unique perspective on you and your potential. Absolutely. All right, folks. Well, stick around. We've got a whole nother hour of positive business talk coming up next. Uh, you are listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show for the archives of this hour and all the hours of the show. There's over 3,000 hours of intellectual property out there. Go check out experiencepros.com. The home of uh, not only Fan Bragging Friday, but the Extreme Customer Service Directory. We'll be back right after these messages. 
This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10. On KLZ 560. I remember, I remember the moment. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. A storage tank ruptured, and for miles, chemicals were pushing up against the riverbanks. This was a big, big deal, and it was going to have a serious impact on communities up and down the river. I remember the moment this local guy came up to me and said, they call the guard out for this stuff? You probably thought we were all about hurricanes, tornadoes, fighting Mother Nature. Hey, it's a chemical spill. It's a disaster. It affects the water supply, threatens wildlife. We're talking about the health of entire communities and people's livelihoods. You bet we're ready for these kinds of things. We were out there with booms to prevent the spill from expanding. We are responsible for protecting and monitoring the sensitive wetlands. I also remember the moment that same guy came up to me and said, I don't know what we would have done if they hadn't called the guard up. Learn more about how you can protect your friends, families, neighbors, and the environment. Everything that makes up your community. Go to NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. KLZ AM 560, KLZ HD Denver, and online streaming at klz560radio.com. This is KLZ 560. Freedom, liberty, truth. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm John DeMaster. I don't trust this uh, screening system of verbally having people tell you whether or not they've been into a hot zone. A House hearing being held today on Capitol Hill about the government's response to the Ebola crisis. CDC Director Dr. Thomas Frieden set to testify this a day after a second Dallas nurse gets diagnosed with Ebola. Republican Representative Tim Murphy of Pennsylvania saying a travel ban is necessary to keep Ebola under control. U.S. citizens have a right to come here, but I'm saying once they're in this country, I believe they should be restricted from further travel and quarantine. There have been close to 40 more airstrikes against ISIS terrorists in the past 48 hours as they continue gaining more ground. Former ambassador to the United Nations John Bolton on Fox News saying he thinks Rear Admiral John Kirby doesn't believe we'll win against ISIS right now because... The military can only do what it's ordered to do, and right now they've been ordered uh, to be ineffective. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. I'm Lex Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can. With ZipRecruiter.com, you can post your job to 50-plus job sites, including Craigslist, LinkedIn, and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. No juggling emails or calls to your office. Quickly screen candidates, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. And right now, our listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash talk radio. You've been listening to The Blaze Radio News on KLZ 560. Wake up with Randy Corcoran. Early mornings at 5 on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business and founders of Experience Pros University are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. You know, I, I went out and got uh, my new telecommunication device, uh, the 6 Plus, iPhone 6 Plus. You know, I saw somebody on Facebook. They said they're, 
their son, they were talking about something over the weekend and getting doing something on Saturday, and their son replied, and I don't know, he's like 11 or 12. He says, sorry, I, I, uh, I have plans, really, really more of a reunion. A reunion? And, yeah, and, she, and mom says, with who? My technology. <laughs> and I thought, that would be my son. You know, I need a reunion with all my video games and all my technology. And so what did you call that? A telecommunication it, it device? It is a telecommunication tool, dude. A device. telecommunication yeah. tool. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to use that phrase then every time you refer to your telecommunication oh, should I? tool. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Um, I mean, if you're going to use it once. Well, this, this will be uh, an eye-opener for you, Mrs. Tussie. Mm. The first mobile phone call. Do you have any idea when that took place? Take a you guess. Know, it seems like it seems like I remember hearing uh, something about this and yeah. hearing the story, but no. Mobile phone, you know the one without the wires. I guess All I right. don't know what you are when, talking when do, about. When do, you think, when do you think it took place? I don't know. April third, nineteen seventy-three. The mobile phone. <laughs> right. I knew I was going to do that to you because guess what? What? You're not much older than that. Well, I remember. I mean, is that that big box thing you used to have in the car? And that was kind of like, you know, you were still in diapers. James Bond kind of stuff. Well, yeah, absolutely. Right? So, so, so here's what happened. Uh, Motorola's general manager called their rivals at AT&T <laughs> just to let them know they got there first. Wow. Right. Wow. All right. All right. Speaking of first, did you know that the first episode of Columbo was directed by Steven Spielberg? Just the first episode? Yeah. Did they have a mobile phone in that scene? Why are we asking questions that cannot be answered? Why? Oh, I don't know. I thought maybe that was the tie-in. No. What was the tie-in? Word first. Oh, the first phone call. Speaking the of first, first things. Columbo. First episode, okay. right? Steven Spielberg produced the first. I liked Columbo. And now we're talking about, uh, since we're talking about you know videos and, and Hollywood, A Few Good Men was written on cocktail napkins while Aaron Sorkin was working as a bartender. What movie wasn't written on a cocktail napkin? I don't know, but this was brought to you by 1,339 Quite Interesting Facts to Make Your Jaw Drop, the great book by John Lloyd, John Mitchison, and James Harkinson. And if you're looking to save money, you can check the veracity of these facts. Put a quarter in the jar. By uh, going to qi.com. I'm, QI. I'm not kidding you. I. You put a quarter every time that Eric says the word veracity, mm -hmm. you're going to have coffee money by the end of the week or something fun, some shoe money, some The last thing money. you want, uh, massage money. Massage money. The last thing you want somebody to say is that you were not checking out her veracity. What? We'll be back after these messages. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Helene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. 
Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance com. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. There's only one place on the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service, and that's Fan Bragging Friday on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Every Friday, the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business. Call 855-FAN-BRAG and change the way people treat people in business. You can post your stories every day on the Experience Pros Facebook page and call in on Fridays for Fan Bragging Friday at 855-326-2724. 855-FAN-BRAG. Tell Eric and Angel and then tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. If you have an old car that spews out stinky exhaust smoke, donate it to the Clear the Air Foundation. Learn more at cleartheairfoundation.org. Sponsored by the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association and aired in cooperation with the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you back. You know, uh, we love our military here on the show, and we have always had uh, one one day a week or a month, I should say, we, we hang out with the Colorado National Guard. We do. We bring in Captain Darren Overstreet into the studio, uh, who actually then turns around and brings in some incredible guests that just help us understand the role of the Colorado National Guard in the state of Colorado and uh, nationally as well as internationally. Captain Overstreet, welcome to the show. Thank you, guys. Uh, today we have uh, uh, Captain Mark Summer. He's the commander of uh, Task Force Mountain Sentinel. And Task Force Mountain. Task Force Mountain Sentinel. Absolutely. It just sounds rugged. It's it's as rugged as it sounds. All right. Is it? Is it? And they are heading for a year-long deployment down to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba to do uh, detainee operations. And uh, this is a, you know, a little diversion from many of the deployments we've had over the past, you know, a dozen years uh, yeah. to Iraq and Afghanistan, but uh, it's no less important. Well, Captain Summer, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you. Very glad to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. So tell us a little bit about the Task Force Mountain Sentinel. Is it really as rugged as the name sounds? Uh, perhaps even more so. Uh -huh. um, All right. It's uh, subject to interpretation, I suppose. Um, Task Force Mountain Sentinel uh, was formed after uh, the unit, the headquarters company, 193rd Military Police Battalion out of Colorado National Guard. When they got notified they were to deploy, um, we formed a task force in order to meet the deployment requirements. Uh, so essentially we have soldiers from about five different Colorado National Guard units that have come together to... Um, to move down Guantanamo Bay in the near future and perform uh, detainee operations down there. Now, now Captain Summer, your your unit uh, is a brigade brigade of, of some three hundred soldiers, correct? And and tell us about the scope of how many people that you actually serve and protect. Sure, uh, the battalion that most of our soldiers uh, hail from is about three hundred soldiers strong, um, and we. We're going on this mission to um, to provide essentially safety, security, and detention operations in general sense to 
uh, a population. I can't really talk about the size of the, the teenage sure. population. No, no, there. I was thinking that you protect the 300 million Americans that, that, <laughs> that are, are out there. I did not not want to get into sensitive information, obviously. Sure, sure. Not, not all um, we're a team, but, but uh, thank you, yes. Okay, so why is this necessary? I mean, what what is the uh, what is the main the main purpose uh, that we can tell our listeners about? Um, well, I think for your listeners, the important piece is that the National Guard uh, has been tapped to perform a rotation that uh, many active component units do um, to move to Guantanamo Bay, where, as you know, we have a detainee population of um, alleged terrorists uh, who we, we detain there until they can get a commission date and a trial and, um, and then their fate is determined from that point forward. Okay, and, and, and since, it, as uh, Captain Overstreet just mentioned, it's not a, a common thing, at least I don't think it's common. I, I don't, I'm not very smart, but uh, <laughs> why is this a National Guard mission? Why, why is the why Colorado National Guard? Right. Well, uh, the unit that I'm... Uh, my organic unit, though, sort of the lead unit in the task force. So my flag has been mobilized. We're a, we are a detention operations unit. We are trained as such. Um, we essentially run what, what the civilian world calls prisons. And um, uh, that's, that's really the root issue there. Uh, we, we pulled in a lot of other soldiers with different skill sets to enhance sort of our abilities on the ground. And that, by the way, is kind of a unique thing with the Guard, be it in Colorado or, or Tennessee or any other state. Um, soldiers come to us with, with civilian skill sets that they get from their employers or their civilian jobs. That It really makes us a, for, a force multiplier. All right. All right. Now, um, you just recently celebrated an anniversary. Am I correct? A 10th anniversary? No. All right. No? Okay. We, we may have uh, misunderstood our, our information. Uh, no worries. Captain Summer, any other thing that you are uh, interested and or uh, able to, to share with us about your mission and, uh, and what you're doing? Uh, yeah, there's, there's um, I think the Captain Overstreet touched on the fact that this isn't a typical uh, war on terror deployment in terms of uh, sending units over to Afghanistan or previously to Iraq, uh, where they're in direct combat, armed combat roles or the threat thereof. Um, this is a different type of mission where our soldiers will, um, well, they won't be getting shot at, we expect, um, we hope, but uh, they will be in contact with those, the same enemy for 12 hours a day when they go on shift and come off shift or 14 hours a day or whatever, whatever that day looks like for them. So I just want to make sure it's clear that the toll that it's, um, that they have to sort of take on, it, it's no less, no less difficult. Absolutely. That, it, one, one last question for you, Captain, then we'll let you get back on to your day. Uh, you have members of your unit that are involved in law enforcement, is that correct? And if so, how does that help them be better, better prepared? Uh, absolutely. There's a, a good number of, of my soldiers who are also law enforcement officers or corrections officers. And uh, generally speaking, they're, they come to us just more practiced in some of the critical tasks that we need to perform. Um, use of restraints, uh, detention facility operations. They do this stuff every day. So when, um, and I guess I should thank their employers for, for providing that, that skill set. Absolutely. Because, um, it's just a, a more well-rounded, more professional force that we can field. Well, thank you so much for being our guest today, Captain Summer. Thank you for, for your service and, and what this whole task force is doing to protect us as Americans, but you do every day behind the scenes that um, we're happy to sing those praises and bring that to bring that to the community. So we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Well, thank you. And I appreciate you having me on. You bet. You stay safe out there and come on back. We'll see you in a year. Captain Overstreet, thank you so very much for uh, bringing this to our attention. What a fantastic uh, interview. And, you know, it, it's, it's so cool to be able to have these conversations and learn more about the mission of the Guard. Absolutely. I mean, as, as we were talking with Captain Summer right now, his unit's out training, um, kind of their, their culminating exercise before they deploy next week. And they've been working with Aurora to use some old, uh, some, some former detention facilities in Aurora. So they've had a good communication there. And it's one of the nice things with the National Guard is that we have these community 
connections that you we bet. can work with. So, so what he's doing right now is he's getting back to his unit so they can train with great veracity. Ver oh, put <laughs> going on the job. Veracity. <laughs> Captain There's Overstreet, two. you did not just say that. Yes, he did. Yes, Thank he you. did. Thank you so much. Captain Overstreet, what else uh, do we want to share about the Colorado National Guard today? Uh, well, anybody wants to learn more can go to our website at co.ng for National Guard, dot mil, M-I-L, or Facebook page, C-O-N-G-1860, which is the year we were founded. C O N G one eight six zero eighteen sixty. That was uh ten, that was be ten years before, before you were born. Before right? the mobile phone. That's what I thought. Yep. Before the mobile phone. But somehow I think you guys were in mobile communications before the mobile phone. You invented it. Smoke signal stuff like uh, that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk coming up next. Thank you very much, Captain Overstreet. We sure appreciate you. Thank you. You guys have a great day. All right, we'll be back after these messages. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000 20432, NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803. And tell him the pros sent you. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event, ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufactured products mean we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right freedom 560 with ken clark today at noon on klz 560 the experience pros want to help you get your business right have you joined the revolution visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary and now back to eric and angel on the experience pros radio show shake it up shake it up Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. You know, uh, I, I love shaking it up a little bit, and we do that here on the on the uh, on the show. 
we do shake it up um so i'm really liking the song shake it off shake it off yeah i'm having to to think about that these days just shake it off we're hmm. shaking it up you, you think we're shaking it up yeah are you kidding me a positive business talk on major market radio uh yes <laughs> yeah we're shaking it up uh we're shaking a tree or something like that um we're shaking hands. We're learning how to shake hands, thanks to Tony Rayburn right. from Extreme Relationship Management. I had no idea how important or how much of an impact that had on that initial setting the tone for the conversation you're about to have. Right, right. Um, do you uh, do, do you travel? I'm not getting on an airplane today. Oh, don't be afraid. I'm uh, afraid. Well, okay, but people people still have to travel, and uh, and we're not going to panic. Actually, and and even before that. I am really well I don't I don't know if I should get on my little soapbox over this. I am really not into the airline travel anymore. The whole thing is Do you have an alternative that is better? I, I don't Your time space continuum girl? I really I really wish I was, but the whole thing about being around in cramped spaces with cranky people that can't seem to get along, follow basic instructions, and be nice to the people next to them. Just listening to the news too much. No, no. My personal experience, I'm watching the idiots try to cram their oversized bag into the overhead container, you know, get in and take off their socks and make this, you know, this tiny little space as if they're in their own bedroom and talking on their personal phones and their body. I mean, it's... No, I'm not in airplane travel these days. I, I'm thinking I'm going to just, I'm just going to become a recluse. A recluse? Yes. Like a brown and recluse, get around like the 30,000 brown recluses they found nature in nature intended, in a car. You are wearing brown. You are a brown recluse. <laughs> Watch out, my <laughs> venom is stings, that, that's poison sure. or something. I don't know. Hey. I don't know. The airline travel thing, I just really think that, that people need to take a chill pill I think that's what's going to make some kind of. Let's start with you. Let's just relax. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 administer that pill to you I first. I keep my angst to myself. I just watch with my beady little eyes. I see you, cranky old man. Yeah, whatever you do, don't kick the back of her chair. Oh my oh gosh! My gosh! Oh my gosh! And when you get up, my <laughs> seat is not a handle. Right. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you can you help? I don't know. I don't think there is. <laughs> I just don't think. You know, we aren't trying to create the revolution in the way people treat people. Yeah. We say it's in business. Can we do it at an airport? Yes. Can we can we just be nice and be calm and understand that we're all just trying to get someplace else and we all don't want to be here, but this is the necessary means of travel. And it's amazing because it only takes two hours to get from here to San Francisco or wherever we want to go. It's amazing the gift of air flight but we don't appreciate it and yeah. i don't appreciate the people that don't appreciate it you're done i'm done okay i'm sorry so i came across this great article by oscar Ramundo. <laughs> i wonder how often oscar travels really he, he travels all the time and and here's the deal uh there are airline app, every airline now has an app right and there are features that that uh, make business travel a breeze now that sounds nice doesn't it Yes. You know what we need? <laughs> we do need a nap. Just make everybody take a nap as yeah. soon as they get on the airplane. Everybody Put us to sleep nap. and wake us up when we get there. I saw a uh, Carol Burnett uh, economy um, sketch with Tim Conway uh, yesterday. Funny. 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 What is it about? Uh, air travel? Yeah. Uh, but anyways. Um, so, you know. All the different things that the uh, airlines do and the, the apps that they have now, there are some of those things that really do make things easy for you. For instance, airport maps. When uh, most of the, the apps that come out, uh, including United Airlines, has uh, a, a very extensive collection, there are a hundred detailed maps uh, of locations of shops, restaurants, and restrooms within the airport. There's signs in the airport. Sure there are, but you can pull out an app and say, oh, I'm here, and the uh, Qdoba that I'm looking for is over there. And the restroom I'm looking for and the gate I need Restrooms to connect to my, yeah. my okay. connecting flight. It's really the gate that I want to know. If I'm, you know, Very rarely do I have to make a connecting flight, but doesn't it always seem like, one, you're running late as you're landing, and the connecting flight is clear across the other side? Oh, oh, all right. Well, uh, that, that's... <laughs> I got a message in there. Tell Angel she needs rescue remedy. I need to be rescued from something, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Not just me. 
but other people, can we just like like put it in the ventilation system? No, relax. No, the the point. Okay, since you decided to, to go with the ventilation system, the good news is the ventilation system actually filters the air, so you don't have to worry about your Ebola or people kicking your seat because they're all going to get sucked into the ventilation system. It's all fine. Could they? All right. Um, I know the answer to this question, but for the benefit of the audience, have you ever uh, used a, an airline app to track the the uh, the departure or landing of or the arrival of uh, uh, like your husband's flights? No. Yes, you have. I have. Yes. Oh, I have. The answer is I have. Oh I've tracked. Gosh. I've tracked his flights. I don't even know. I don't. You get a little ding ding. Oh, the has oh landed. that's true. United just does that. It like it's an me app <laughs> that makes your stuff easy. I know, but it used to call the phone and like ten o'clock at night, the phone rings. I'm like, who's calling me? This is United, and to let you know that the plane has landed. I'll, oh, thank you. You can do that with your luggage now, too. Check my bag? Yeah. That's not my bag, baby. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Have you ever lost your luggage? Have you ever yes. landed somewhere and yes. the suit you needed and the outfit so you needed? Instead of was... complaining and waiting in that, that, that closet of a ho uh, uh, an office that they sit there and say, why are you here? That'll of freak course, you out. there's only one reason you're That'll there. That'll freak you out. You're on your airplane. You're tracking your bag. And your bag goes to And your Peoria. bag is not. And now you've got to wait two and a half hours before you're going to land anywhere. Right. My bag is not going to be there. But and what? how cool would it be if your bag is going the opposite direction? You could get online with the, the Wi-Fi that's existing now on the airplanes and tell the folks, hey, that's not the right place for my bag. I'm going to be in New York. Stop sending it to Peoria. And it'll be there before you are. Huh. Come on now. I would like that. I thought you would. All right. You ever want a driver? Uh-huh. <laughs> I want a driver every day. Southwest and United actually offer opportunities for you to book a car before you ever arrive. In, from the app. Your car is ready and waiting upon your revival uh, arrival. <laughs> I've been revival. revived from my nap. Jeez. Um that's handy. That's handy to have the car ready and go and waiting and right? all prepared. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right. Super super <laughs> Subaru. <laughs> I don't Volvo. want a Subaru. I don't want a Subaru. I want a limo. You know what? Uh, just for the sake of the article, uh just just go check out um Six airline app features that make business travel a breeze. Post this to our you Facebook know, page. My husband tells me, and I think you would. That you're um, a volcano? No, no, no. Um, you probably wouldn't agree with this at the moment. Uh, all evidence to the contrary uh, based hear. on my conversation. Let's hear what Jay says. He says I'm so easy to travel with. <laughs> Has he traveled with you? <laughs> yes, he's traveled with me. Because I have traveled with you. I'm easy to travel with. I zip my I zip my trap. I don't say anything. Far be it from me to disagree with Angel's husband. Do you? Am I not? Have you traveled with him? Oh my gosh! He doesn't read signs. He doesn't plan ahead. He doesn't know where we're going until we get there. It's just a mess. And he's the like, experience Wait. pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Until now, when you were having trouble sleeping, the only place for you to turn to was your doctor. But the new sleep store, Somnia, has sleep experts on hand ready to answer your questions, assess whether or not you have sleep apnea, and even dentists to help create appliances for snoring. Everything you need to get a better night's sleep in one place. Mattresses, sheets, aromatherapy. If it helps you sleep, Somnia has it. The grand opening inside Park Meadows Mall is November 1st, and Experience Pros listeners get a sneak peek on October 30th at 10 a.m. Join us for the soft opening of Somnia on October 30th inside Park Meadows Mall. Somnia, helping you get a better night's sleep every night. Women-owned businesses are on the rise, but where do you go when the bank says no? Ladies, you know it's tough to secure the capital necessary to launch or develop a new business. You need to know attorney Steve Replin of the Replin Law Group. Steve specializes in helping women secure hard money lending when no one else will step up. You have an ally in Steve Replin. He has the knowledge and resources to get you the money you need to grow your business. Call Steve today. It's Money in the Bank, your bank. 303-322-7919 or replinlawgroup.com. Your largest asset is your home, and when your home needs help, Hokoa Denver is your best friend. The Homeowners Club of America provides AAA service, promptly matching your service requests with approved contractors, and then following up to guarantee the job was done right. Utilities, appliances, remodeling, painting, from bricks to fencing, floors to patios, Hokoa has you covered. 
Become a member for the equivalent of only $4 a month. $4. Hokoa, serving homeowners with care. Sign up today, 303-906-2643. That's 303-906-2643. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. When you're diagnosed with a brain condition, it takes more than just a doctor to help you live the best life possible. Choose Colorado Neurological Institute's NeuroHealth Center for all your neurorehabilitation needs. The NeuroHealth Center is an outpatient neurorehabilitation clinic in Englewood offering counseling, care navigation, speech, occupational and physical therapy services, and all services are delivered in one location. Call today, 303-788-4010. That's 303-788-4010 or visit online at thecni.org. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark is coming up at noon on KLZ 560. Hi, it's Dennis Miller inviting you to join me for an entertaining blend of politics and news of the day from my hopefully unique perspective. Plus, we'll have a red carpet list of celebrity guests who will grab and keep your attention. It's time well spent that you won't want back. It's that good. Listen for The Dennis Miller Show. The Dennis Miller Show, weeknights at 10, right here on KLZ 560. The experienced pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. I say I'm too late. Got nothing in my brain. Welcome back to the Experience Bros Radio Show. Our angels digging the sound. Well, actually, Charlie, thank you, because we're shaking it off. We're shaking it off. I was having a little moment, um, and I do. I get myself all wired up um, watching the grumpy people around me. Just There's a reason that we host a positive business talk show, and there's a reason we work with positive people that offer extreme customer service. It's because... The others, that just makes me so cranky, and it and it's like it, it perpetuates, right? You're cranky to somebody else. You're not just cranky to that person. That person then takes on the cranky and then takes it to somebody else, and it's like, and it's going to spread faster than some flu bug, but the same can be told with positive. Absolutely. If you're nice to somebody else. You hold the door open. You use your manners. You're polite. You're considerate, respectful. They're going to be polite, considerate, respectful to somebody else. We can have that cause and effect in a positive way or a negative way. And how we respond, we can't always control. And I, I mean, this was kind of what my rant was about. We can't control how other people um, behave, but we can control our response to them, which is why I don't say anything. I zip my lip because I don't need to add to um, just add to the aggravation that that is being created. Yeah, well, absolutely. Although. Uh, oh, oh, there goes the uh, the, the hand waggle. Uh, hold on for a second. got to get the camera back up. There we go. Go. One little w waggle your hand. Little epidemic that's going on in the neighborhood. Have you noticed? There's an epidemic, and it is. And and I and I and I totally get on board with why this is an epidemic, but it is Ebola? getting out of hand. No, no, no. It is the the issue of the little flag men in the residential area warning of children playing in the neighborhood. Oh, the little plastic, uh, the, the little plastic dude you can buy at Sam's Club or Costco uh -huh. that has the flag mm -hmm. that says slow down for children. Yeah, warning there are children playing. And I do like the idea of it. You know, little little cone, little flag guy lets you know that there are kids that could be darting out, chasing a we ball. We love our children. And we do. We love our children. We want to be very safe around the children. And I think it can put you on hyper alert to be noticing sure. kids running around. Good idea. Only one problem. Well, 
Okay, what's the one? Because I'm thinking many. So oh. which one do you want to emphasize? It's illegal. Well, okay. There, see? Okay. <laughs> so you're a lot, you know, you put this out there, but they're putting, um, the homeowners are putting these little guys in the middle of the street, which is against the law. Against the law. It against it's the an law. obstruction. It's an obstruction of traffic. And mm -hmm. so you cannot be any further than three feet or four feet as far as the width of a car from the curb. Right. So it is an obstruction. And the homeowners are calling the police, yelling on the, the people driving by who are following the law because the posted speed limit is 25 miles an hour. Right. But they want the people to be going slow down five miles, five an, miles hour. an hour. Right. So That's the homeowners call the, the police, law. the yes. police show up, and guess what happens? The homeowner putting the, the little man out is the one that's cited. Ticket. And, and it is. It is all for safety, and we do need to be on Love hyper alert, stop driving distractedly, um, and pay attention to the surrounding around you. Um, but we can't just make up laws arbitrarily. Yes, we want to protect our children, and we want you to slow down, but there's they're going around now taking pictures, and, and I read this in the Highland Ranch Herald, they're taking pictures of people's license plates of people driving by because they think they're driving too fast, they're not breaking the law. They're not driving faster then. And have you had your license plate taken a picture of? No, I don't think so, because I'm not usually driving. Have I had my license plate taken a picture of? Maybe. <sighs> no, I think you would know. They're they're pretty they're they, pretty they aggressive about and, it. And, yeah, 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 they're pretty aggressive about it. I don't want my kids. I don't want to hit your kid. I get it. Right. No, but we can't just go around arbitrarily making up laws, breaking laws, and then making up laws. Can we? Uh, I think we Can shouldn't. I? Maybe I could. You could, but I don't think we should. All right. Anyway, that's the epic demo. Um, hey. So that's my only other soapbox well, today. <laughs> the day is yet young. Uh, but, but let's do this. I, I wanted you to know that after our uh, little airline rant, I, oh, did you uh, share in that with me? Uh, well, did you have something to complain about? Because I, I don't think you did. I believe that we I all think the shared only thing in that. <laughs> that you said was, "I'm no fun to travel with," and I, I am really fun I, to I travel with. I didn't say with. that you were no fun to travel with. Oh, not I easy. I said far it far be it from me to disagree with your husband. You don't think I'm easy to travel with? I didn't say that. But you think you're you can't, you, can't you cannot sneak your way around into getting me to say something. Are you a cakewalk to travel with? A cakewalk. Easy. Am I easy to travel with? Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I was going to tell you that uh, as I went out to the uh, the kitchen for for my coffee break, um, the uh, general manager Mike Treem says he's been listening to the show and uh, he thinks that um, you should be careful. I should. And I'm not putting words in his mouth. Now. Well, he, I'll he tell didn't you, say that. My, my he, he likes the show. He likes the dynamic. My assistant says, all right, Angel, I'm going to get you a cup of coffee because I'm drinking water. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I've got to text her what I want for, uh, yeah, yeah. for lunch. I'm drinking water. Right. And apparently it's not it's not calming my nerves. All right. Um, th did you know that there's some psychological hacks that you can uh, help help with your marketing? Uh, powerful marketing is not it's it's not just putting stuff out on the internet or you know advertising or whatever there are some things that use psychology that you can sociology big time yes yeah, absolutely do you know the difference role. between psychology and sociology oh wait you are a psych major uh do, do, do you know the difference i don't know the answer you're looking psychology for. is for the individual and sociology is for the group. The masses. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, see, I didn't know the answer. See, I did. knew mine was going to be. No, you had it. You got it right. Okay. Uh, cater to curiosity. We have this insatiable sense of curiosity. So if you want your marketing to uh, to, to, to really take off, uh, give that curiosity thing. And you see it on Facebook every day. You see an article that has a photo, which might be a provocative photo of one sort or another, and I'm not meaning that in a, in a derogatory way. Uh, and then it says, uh, this person had this to say, and you'll be shocked to hear it was dot, dot, dot. Oh, I, yeah. They, they You say you hate it, but we all click on it to go find out what was that dot, dot, dot. Sometimes. 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 Well, yeah, sometimes yeah. I, we don't all not always. always. Sometimes but, it gets a little old. Ah, like, just tell me. Right. And if you can't tell me, I'm not clicking. I'm not playing your silly little head game. Millions do. That's I the know. sociology part. Yeah. Uh, make it simple. Simplicity wins every time. Always. Always. It, because if it's too complicated, you won't do it again. 
Yep. Uh, don't give too many choices. If you are lo looking for a, an actual transaction, don't give too many choices in your marketing. One thing, well, one and thing well. Don't we, I mean, we tend to throw in so many things because we want to cover, well, what if they want it in blue? I better make sure I have it in blue and red and yellow and green and dark. Limit your options to three, and uh, and, and typically uh, have Tommy Wolf says this have a low price, a mid price, and a uh, and a high price. We get paralyzed um, when there are too many choices, and so rather than just picking one, we tend to pick none. Yeah, and then finally, this uh, this boy, this has Daryl Stern written all over it. Forget solutions, give benefits. All we care about is benefits. Uh, so so tell them what's in it for them. So there you have it. That's the psychology. Psychological hacks that psychological. will give your marketing a boost. Well, and when you talk about the the psychology behind the low end, middle end, high end, yep. um, you know, typical, not necessarily a hundred percent, but we don't. You most people will choose the one in the middle. In the middle, because we don't want to be the cheapest, and we don't want the most expensive. It's the one in the middle. If you don't believe this to be do. true, go check out the uh, the the restroom in any public location. You always choose the middle stall? Stall in the middle. Really? Yeah. Well, but that's different. That's you, different. You probably go to the one the furthest from the door because it's the cleanest. You think so? I know. Well, I don't know, but I, I'm just saying that's the kind of decision you would make. I don't know. I think I usually choose the first one. Here we go. Overanalyzing again. <laughs> Folks, we'll Do take care of this. You the middle stall, the first stall. I, I'll, actually, I try to avoid the one that's got somebody already in it, and I try to leave a gap. We'll be back after these messages on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Everyone wins when you partner with Mary Beth Stencil and her Paid to Save Network. Put your daily deals on the Paid to Save app for free and start making money every time someone clicks on your offer. You only pay when someone pays you. What a great idea. And you can start making money today. No one will know of your offer until you list it. So get going right now. Visit PaidToSave.com. That's Paid, the number two, save.com or call Mary Beth right now at 303-268-5506. That's 303-268-5506. Get paid to save and start making money today. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. You've done it yourself. You've put in a few keywords to search for something and what comes up is nothing like what you're looking for. Thousands of responses, but nothing close to what you need. You try again, frustrated, you finally find it buried deep within the walls of the internet. Don't do that to your potential customers. Make it easy. Make it Colorado SEO easy. Colorado SEO optimizes your keywords so customers can find you quickly. Optimize your website by contacting Colorado SEO. Search engine optimization the way you hoped it would be. ColoradoSEO.com. That's ColoradoSEO.com. You have a business and your business needs a phone system other than your cell phone. Now you have a solution. Perfect Cloud Solutions is the perfect answer to your phone system needs. Specializing in affordable voice over internet protocol phone systems, Perfect Cloud Solutions has exactly what you need. And best of all, it fits within your budget. Call today and stop sharing that one-line handheld unit in the office. 855-771-VOIP. That's 855-771-8647. Or check them out for yourself at perfectcloudsolutions.com. Perfect Cloud has your perfect phone solution.
Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. John Rush. Today at 2 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to this Experience Pros Radio Show. We're going to uh, see if we can put the train back on the tracks now and uh, give you what you came to this station for. Positive business talk. That's the one. All right. Um, you want to be more productive, right? Yeah. You want to get more done in a day? I, you know what? Here's actually what I am thinking in order to be more productive because I don't want to add more to my day. So I think I need to reevaluate my use of my time. Okay. So yes, or maybe is that a yes? <laughs> All right. I do want to be more productive. I just please don't ask me to do more. <laughs> Tim Ferriss. Tim Tim Ferriss wrote an article in Inc. dot com. He says there's uh, there are ways to be more productive, and here is one of them: wake up with more energy. Many people feel tired in the morning, not because they didn't sleep enough, Angel, uh, but because they have low blood sugar. You can minimize this by consuming a teaspoon or a tablespoon or two of unsweetened almond butter before you go to sleep. Oh, I've also heard honey. Honey. The the same thing, too. Um, I haven't heard honey in years. Of doing the teaspoon of honey No, before? just somebody calling me honey. Oh. So, yeah, uh, uh, consuming a tablespoon or two of, of natural honey, you can either do that in a cup of hot water if you don't want to just take it straight. Yeah. Because I do think that the... Um, the natural sugars in it in your you know, you've got to protect your teeth too so. speaking of taking it straight i want to clarify something because we often uh r make reference to charlie and his banana uh and and since uh, we're talking about you know being energized and, and having more uh, blood sugar balance uh, going on charlie just went over and, and grabbed his banana um and i want to clarify charlie has a banana every day he probably has two or three but there, his banana is always on that side of the glass. And when I said uh, earlier this week that I was going to grok Charlie's banana, um, groking is to look at somebody eating and wish that they would invite you to eat as well. So I just, I want, I, you know, I just want to make sure everybody understands. Well, and I do think the whole idea of of you know we we start our day with a cup of coffee to kind of boost that energy level. Whereas if you can come in to the day pre-boosted, yeah. then you won't feel the necessary need to, to dump in so much coffee. Right. It's just bad for your what, adrenal glands. It is. It is. And Charlie's now swinging his banana and, and I, I, I don't, I don't want to participate in that today. You're not, uh, not no. croaking the banana today? No, 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 not today. Well, why not today? I mean, why yeah, is today I, different? Because I went to bed yesterday and I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought, everybody thinks that I am this, this huge pervert, and I'm, I'm not. It's, it's, it's a banana, and I don't want it. Okay, but why? Like, Charlie, I don't want but, your banana. But here's the thing. When you said you were groking and you repeatedly talked about groking and then you posted a, a picture about yeah. groking and the banana and the, the whole thing, the you groke. knew – you knew right then and there the image you were you were setting up, and you were pleased with yourself. Would you like to be more productive? Put the train right back on the tracks there. Yeah. You don't appreciate the banter that I am bringing to. See, it's okay for him to completely derail, and I'm adding color. Angel, get back on track. Angel, get back on track. You, it's okay. And and I'm like, okay, what's that? And where are we going with that? And you're like, that was good radio. It's kind of weird being on the other side, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the neck, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When somebody's constantly taking you off track. I'll, and, I'll take it. Where do you want to go? No, just right here. Okay. I took it here. Like, All we're right. here. We're not going anyplace new. 
All right, what was the question? <laughs> you want to be more productive? I do. Let's, let's go on. You can double your reading speed in five minutes. Double my reading speed yep. in five minutes. So does that take it from five to ten minutes? Like, or something <laughs> no, no, that was no, ten not, minutes not, down to five? Not double your reading speed to five minutes. Oh. In five minutes, you can double your reading speed. Uh, write down a sentence, any sentence that has eight to 12 words and fills a single line on a page or a screen. If you read it by starting, on, starting your fixation on the first word of the line and ending on the last word, you're wasting about 50% of your peripheral vision on margins. Instead, simply make your starting point two or three words in from the left side, your ending point two or three words from the uh, right side. You're going to double your reading speed and you fill in the blanks or, or what you're missing. Seriously? Yeah. All right. So I have some copy of, mm -hmm. of a commercial New that commercial. is... Pick um, a line in the middle. Step, this one right here. Okay. So step-by-step -step plan for your entire year. Yep. You'll hear. I, I, don't, I don't think that it works. Yeah, it does. Okay. Because what you should have done was plan for your entire year. You're going to hear. See? Mm. Totally. You doubled your speed. All right. All right. So um, just, just, just read the inner words. Yeah. Finally, clear your inbox in half the time. You first. <laughs> <laughs> right. How many how many messages are currently in your inbox? Uh, when I uploaded and my phone, uh, when, when I uploaded can I do that? my brand new phone, I had 72,000 emails. Can I do that daily? Can I do that hourly? How do I get my inbox? Because my friends over at Major Mom are always talking about stop the incoming. I'm trying. I wish I could. And I know that sending more email brings in more email and it creates kind of a little rabbit effect. So how? In the world, am I going to do this? Well, there, there are a few things. Uh, the, the one thing that uh, the, the author of this article says is the only consistent way to get uh, inbox to zero is to respond to fewer emails because responding breeds more email. Um, I think there's a fallacy in that, uh, that, that idea. Um, but aside from that, there are a couple of apps that can maybe help you. The first one's called Five Sentences. Uh, it gives you a footer. If you use this app, it, it adds a footer to your email that says, why is this email five sentences or less? And then links to an explanation. And it trains other people to give you five sentence uh, emails. Wait, oh, didn't pass the... Uh, didn't pass the angel test. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. If I've, I mean, just because we want them to send five sentence emails does not mean they're going to. And yeah, I actually think that's going to create more emails. Angel, I know you wanted five sentence emails. So here's part one, here's part two, and here's part 76 of that one email that I was going to send you. Yeah, some potential. <laughs> I like that. Uh, the next one, of course, we've heard before, Boomerang. It's an extension for Gmail. Uh, Boomerang says uh, you, you send out an email, and if it, if it has not been replied to uh, sooner than you expect it to, you set the times, then you can send back uh, just a follow-up uh, and so on. I don't know if that's going to help you uh, clear out your inbox, but it will help you fill other people's, and that's fun. Uh, and finally... The last tool. <laughs> and that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. I'm going to fill your inbox. The last tool. Fill Eric's inbox. He likes it. It's called Email Game. Email, email game. game. It's an app. It forces you to go through your email sequentially without an inbox view. You can set timers and other gamifications, and it helps uh, get through email in about 40 to 50% less time. All right. So here's here's where my boggle ends up. It isn't so much it's a good game too. in the inbox. Okay, so all the new emails that are coming in, I can pretty much scan and go, okay, these are all junk. These are all newsletters. I can get rid of that, and only these are the ones that are left. Um, but then once you've moved like you've moved on okay so i've replied do i have to go back now and delete all those inbox emails what do i do with the 2000 red emails that are sitting in my inbox delete them just delete them that's what you would say i say i don't i don't know so i actually had i actually did an activity not too long ago and i took all my inbox emails mm -hmm. from 2013, put them in a folder. Yep. C-Square Computer Consulting said I could put them in a folder. Okay. Um, I took all my 2013 sent emails and I put them in a folder. Yep. 
Um, and I'm hoping that at the end of 2014 that I could just delete the whole folder. So I've saved them for a year. Yeah, therein lies the, the, the secret, I believe, because if you delete the folder, uh, because otherwise you're just shuffling data from one thing to the other, your email still just be slow. Yeah, it's just geography. Just I still sight. have it, yeah. yeah. It, but your, your email still bogs down and gets slow. Um, but, but, you know, yeah, delete it a year later. Absolutely. I'm getting, I'm, I am gearing I up to just, do this to my apartment. I actually, deleting it? I am. You're deleting your apartment? You're going to be homeless? You're going to live no, out of your car? No, no, no. You're going to sleep here in no. the studio? Yep. Ooh. Ooh, that appeals to you? Maybe. Why? No, I'm going to, we're running out of time. I, I am, uh, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to go through and, and flip and take everything to the dumpster. Can I watch? I'm going <laughs> to it's going to be like a hotel room when I go home. I like watching other people purge and throw away. I, I, yeah, I dig that. Well, you can carry some stuff to the dumpster with me. What do you say? I'll bring a wagon. You bring a wagon. I'm on the third floor. <laughs> throw it over the, throw <laughs> it over the balcony. Who cares if it's broken? All right. On behalf of Charlie, our producer, Angel, myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros radio show happen every single day, we say thank you for understanding that Charlie has a banana and I don't croak it. Um, but you do. Right? Sometimes. Um, thanks for <laughs> tuning in. Thanks for participating in this uh, kind of an interesting day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. We will be back tomorrow because guess what? It's Fan Bragging Friday. We'll see you then. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Freedom 560.